getting new information right now on the sex crime charge against former Governor Andrew Cuomo. The Albany County Sheriff is speaking out on the decision to charge Cuomo for allegedly groping a former aide. CBS 2's Jessica Moore in our newsroom with more on that and also reaction today from the Cuomo camp. Jessica? Christina Marie's Cuomo spokesperson calls it a sham, improperly filed charge that he says won't pass the laugh test in court. But the sheriff today said Cuomo faces overwhelming evidence against him and everything was handled above board. We have a solid case. This charge fits the allegation and it fits the evidence that was obtained by our criminal investigators. The misdemeanor forcible touching charge focuses on an allegation by former Cuomo aide Brittany Camisso, who says Cuomo groped her at the executive mansion last December. Sheriff Apple says he took the criminal summons against Cuomo to Albany Police Court yesterday afternoon, as is standard, and within 10 minutes it had been signed by a city court judge and leaked to the press before a alerting the district attorney, which is customary but not required. It's relatively unusual, yeah. Again, the internet knew about it before I even knew about it. I think it was improper. Um, but again, sometimes things don't go as planned, and, um, and you've got to just roll with it and, and get ready to pivot and move on. Meanwhile, Governor Hochul says she is working hard to erase the toxic environment left by her predecessor, but refused to weigh in on whether Cuomo should be charged. I'm not getting involved because there are so many issues swirling around right now. One of those issues, Attorney General Letitia James, who spearheaded the original Cuomo investigation, just announced she is running to replace Hochul as governor. Cuomo spokesperson Rich as a party calls the charge a toxic intersection of law and politics, saying James colluded with the Albany sheriff to take Cuomo down. Quote, Tish James abused her office to falsely accuse Governor Cuomo because she was afraid to confront him in an election and let the people decide. Apple is only regurgitating her sham report and has no corroborating evidence whatsoever of a crime. In this case, Apple is literally fruit of the poisonous tree. That's a pretty good pun. We just handled this like a normal investigation. I've been accused on Twitter all night about this is a political hit job. The forcible touching charge carries a penalty of up to one year in jail. Cuomo will be required to appear in court in Albany on November 17th. The sheriff says he will not be handcuffed, but he will be arrested and fingerprinted when he surrenders. Live in the newsroom, Jessica Moore, CBS 2 News. Okay, Jessica, thank you.